Good morning, everybody. Good morning. This is it, what we're gonna do. We are having a really hard time getting used to the screen being flipped. It's it's amazing what it does to your brain when you're looking at that, and we're opposite. I don't. I can't. Well, we were all it. used to it the other way, and now we're just. So we pretty much turn on the camera and laugh. Because every time. we look at it, and we can't believe what we're looking at. Mm. Say hey when you're hopping on. How are you doing today? I haven't even really said good morning. Good morning. I'm okay. How are you? <laughs> all right. You're we all started right. out really early this morning, actually. We ran into each other in a random place. We surprised you. Yeah. Amy and Whitney surprised me at the gym. When your morning starts at 5 a.m., why not stop at the gym and see Mimi working out on your way to school? Yeah, it's really fun, and we, um, we engaged Whitney in some of the exercises, and we used to do it. It's been a while since we did it. It was probably in the summer that we were maybe able to pull that off, but Whitney's been asking recently if she can go see oh, Mimi work out. sweet. So I knew that we could make it happen this morning, so we booked it up there. Yeah, it was fun. There was a time in our lives when Amy and I were able to work out together. We did it for about 18 months. Oh, I do. Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah, we met in my basement. I wasn't, there was no Whitney, there was no Zella. Yeah, and we, uh, we worked out together, and it was called TerraFit. It was a like the l premier launch of a doTERRA fitness program. It was really fun. It really, it changed my whole body shape. It was like, it was really good for me because I had to show up because Amy was gonna be there tapping her toe in my basement. She was like waiting for me. <laughs> um, I need I need that accountability. You need um, my discipline and focus. Mm, yeah, I don't have either. And achiever no. and all those things. None of those beautiful things that you have, I don't have. Oh, thanks. And I would frankly rather sleep in. <laughs> I so. would too, but I can't these days. All right, hey Lisa, hey Cindy, hey Allison. Amy's here, another Amy. Another Amy, I'm here too, that's so great. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and Whitney and I got to do something really fun yesterday, which we'll talk a little bit more. Oh yeah, that was, I wish I could have been there. I know, that. it was fun. Yeah. All right, well, I'm the mama. And I'm the Mimi. And this is Mama and Mimi in the morning. We come to you live every Wednesday morning at 9.30 Central Standard Time. We like to be able to share tips for health and wellness, but also to bring some fun and joy into the conversation and into your life. We, I think a lot of people think that it's like their comedic relief for the week. Oh yeah, and that's kind of which funny. Which is funny. That's not our intent. No, but um, so we do giveaways each week and you can get an entry in our giveaway by watching our video live, saying hello, by watching the replay and commenting hashtag replay and you can even get an extra entry by sharing this video out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Should we announce our giveaway winners from last Absolutely, week? Absolutely, because I'm ready. I know, I'm not, I haven't even given Charlotte from last week her, uh, sorry Charlotte. Oh my goodness. Well, I actually, I just have to like post on myself. I've had mine wrapped, sealed, and ready to mail. Bob keeps trying to take it to the post office. I'm like, don't take it. I need it for my video. Um, so Lisa Gavronsky of Cedar Harbor, congratulations. Oh, fun. I have a uh, roller bottle in here from Mom and Mimi for you because you watched and commented last week. She has the best store in Appleton, oh. in Appleton, Wisconsin. You should you check it out. You need to go there. You need to make a point of going there and saying hi to Lisa for We us. found it one night when I was massively overdue with Zella mm -hmm. waiting for her to be born and it was really great. So it's beautiful. And the giveaway winner for me from last week is Anne Maylette. Oh, hey. Yeah, I know, right? Anne. We love That's Anne. Fun. Yeah. And she has an amazing business too, Annie's Woolens. Mm -hmm. And she's our um, source for wool dryer balls. Why are you laughing at that? I, she didn't know where I was going with that. Okay, cool. <clears throat> okay, well, we've got some fun testimonies. Sometimes we like to pick an oil that uh, maybe you guys have commented in and say, I'm not using it, I'd like to use it more, um, and share even some testimonies or tips for it. So this week is about petty grain. I'm going to put you on the spot and just ask you, I mean, what do you, what do you love about it? I have my own things, but what do you think about it? I love diffusing this one at night, oftentimes with lavender. Are we going to talk about why it's yeah. similar and different yeah, from sure. lavender? I mean, go ahead. Um, this is like, the, they call the manly lavender mm -hmm. it smells different it's not floral but it affects your body in a really similar way to lavender would so anything like soothing sleep um, stress relief any of those things you could totally reach for this so if you have um, maybe a spouse or somebody who you love in your life who's a male who could use support from some of the for some of those things and doesn't want to smell like floral petty grain mm -hmm. is the perfect solution 
Yeah, people have different opinions on how it smells. Um, but I like it. I do. It, it might be a little bit of a spicy. learning curve. A little, a little bit. bit of a spice. So I did some testimonies, printed up some information that people have shared, and I forgot to ask permission to share their names, um, which would be important. But I do, this one person is... Um, I like to always include how you can use a specific oil with an animal, right? Because so many of us have pets and love our and pets. I wanted to be a vet. I, want, I what? know. We'll go back to that. We'll go back to this. This is not. Keep going. Keep going. How did I not know that? I don't know. That's very funny. Okay. So anyway, Lori Langfit is somebody that we love and follow who's a great instructor. She has her own wellness business, but she also uses essential oils and implements them into her business and into everything she does in her lifestyle. So she has horses. She loves horses. And... She and her um, husband laugh that when she's out of town, something always goes wrong with the horses. And, it's like children. Um, yeah, like you, he, he's like, I think he said, why does stuff always happen when you're away? So, um, so one of the horses got wounded when she was away, um, and she gave before and after pictures. And I'm telling you, I'm going to show you, but that is a, that's a horrible wound. What were we horse. looking at last week? Toe fungus? And now we're looking at that. Okay, sorry. She might be back on probation. Um, so in a, she had her husband, Dan, do this. In a glass spray bottle, he put a teaspoon of Epsom salt so that the oils would mix well with it. And then he put the oils in frankincense, on guard, pedigree, and melissa. Mm -hmm. And she added 10 drops of myrrh because it was looking so raw, jagged, and dry. And uh, amazing, amazing the improvement in a matter of days on that horse. I mean, it's really hard. And even if you're not a see. horse, you could use yeah, you could use that for soothing. Great for wounds. Yeah. But um, definitely you can use that on your pets, right? Um, people do like and enjoy to use it for sleep, but also blood pressure regulation. Mm -hmm. I have some stories on that. Um, someone here said they were diffusing pedigree, breathe, and bergamot mm -hmm. at night and sleeping like a baby. Just totally loving that. And then we have our friend who I did think to ask her permission was Susan Shaw makes a hand salve out of it. Mm -hmm. um, she has a recipe. I can share it. You can um, give me a shout out if you want her recipe. And I think she said, it's our recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great when you... <laughs> I think I've shared it so many times and everybody adapts it. That's but, true. Um, she's using things like grapeseed and almond or jojoba oil, beeswax, but then she uses 10 drops of pedigree, myrrh, cypress, frankincense, and geranium. So, mm -hmm. you know, when your fingertips are in a rough spot and you're, um, they're cracking and sore, mm -hmm. um, that happens here because it's so dry and gnarly. So We um, love it here. Yeah, I would definitely um, recommend that that in salve. So it's got many different uses. If you have an oil that you have and you're not using or you're not sure how to use at all, Always tell us in the comments yeah. section and we will look into that and we will um, we'll teach you about that. Yeah, my biggest tip for Pettigrain, um, some of you were saying um, that they're glad we're talking about it because they don't necessarily love the smell or aren't mm -hmm. using it a lot. Put it in your diffuser and mix it with an oil you do love. Have mm -hmm. fun, play around with it. Yeah. That's, I think, like the best place to start. Yeah, it's like three drops. If you put it in the diffuser with another oil and you're like, I don't really like that, you don't have to suffer for four hours. You can pitch it. You can pitch it and try again. Start again. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit about what Whitney and I got to do yesterday. Yeah, it's fun. So it was career day at school, and I was asked if I could come share. And so Whitney and I went in, and we told the first graders and the kindergartners about what I get to do and teaching people about essential oils, right? And so um, I had a lot of you asking what I said I brought six oils, what six oils I brought. So I brought in this carrying case. My mom has showed hers before. Um, and so we've got, we talked about Melaleuca and using mm -hmm. that for when your ears are sore. The kids love that. Um, on guard because the kids said they didn't want to, some of them wanted to miss school and some of them didn't. So we talked about using that to stay healthy. We had Tamer in there and Whitney demonstrated how to put that on her little belly when it's not feeling well. Um, cheer because even those little kids admitted sometimes they are kind of crabby. Oh. It happens. <laughs> And lavender, we talked about using that when they are not loving bedtime and they need to make it a little easier for their parents. <laughs> and then my favorite was I brought balance. Um, Whitney talks about this oil all the time. We use it all the time. And I said, I know none of you have temper tantrums ever, but your little siblings do, don't they? Sometimes. Oh, I bet they all love that. And they were like, yeah. So this is what we use balance for. So we had a lot of fun doing that. And the question of the day was, um, what, we, what do you want to be when you grow up? So they were all dressed in really cute 
outfits and um, what did you want to be when you were that age and you wanted to grow up? What did you? You're asking me seriously? I'm asking you. I told my kindergarten teacher I wanted to be a nothing and she was very, I said I wanted to be a nothing like my mother and she was a little concerned about that and she called my mother and reported back to my mother and my mom said no, she wants to be a stay at home mom. That's what that means to be a nothing. So for so all the stay at home nothing. moms out there, we have aspired to nothing. I, I, I think it's really sweet. I love that. I know, I, a nothing. I, I feel really proud that I have spent many years being a nothing, a nothing. and I'm proud of that. I like that too. I wanted to be a vet. I, Isn't that hilarious? What? We don't have a single pet in our house. We're not like pet people. I have like one picture of Amy holding um, any kind of an animal from her childhood, and we did get a dog. We got a used dog. A used dog. dog. We rescued a dog, and um, Amy did not, they did not get along. Well, he bit me, but then he it got did. better. He nipped me. Nip me. Nip is a better word. <laughs> Ripped your We're being off. reported. <laughs> Okay, so that was career day. Um, and then can we just share a couple tips for staying healthy this time of year? Because actually, um, when I got to um, story hour yesterday, one of the parents said to me, there's a lot of coughing going on down there. Mm -hmm. And so I whipped up Whitney's shirt and I gave her an extra swipe of both On Guard and Melaleuca. Um, but some of the things we're doing to stay healthy because there's some not fun things going around and we're gonna be traveling. Yeah. Um, so maybe a couple things that you're doing. Well, I would just say um, we're not living in a place of fear. Uh, a lot of people are talking about germs and things going on in the world, and um, we're just doing our usual things and going on with our life. And washing our hands. Washing our hands, not touching our face if we can. And um, one of the, uh, on guard hand sand, if I'm in a place where I can't wash my hands, they, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite. She just got me. Um, I went this way. We'll be taking all those things with us on the road. And I did want to share a testimony that I got that I did ask permission. Christine texted me and said, this is her husband John's quote. This is what he said to share with me. Quote, if there was ever a campaign for doTERRA, it would be, I survived India, unquote. So John was there on business recently and did very well there. And um, he said he took... His LLV supplements, his PB Assist probiotic, his Terrazyme digestive enzyme, and his On Guard mm -hmm. hand spray. Darn it! This stuff is so right. um, he used to not have such great success on the road, mm. and I'm really thrilled to hear that. So we're going to be doing all the usual things that we normally do, and we're not going to be afraid. No, nope, right? And lots of On Guard Plus for us mm -hmm. at our house is what we're using yeah. too. Yep. Okay, last thing is what we're doing this Saturday. Oh, this is exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so in Sugar Camp over here in Northern Wisconsin, um, our friend Bridget is doing an amazing event called a Girl Boss event. So she's invited mm -hmm. local female entrepreneurs to come. And so we get to set up our table with our doTERRA stuff. We even get to do a short presentation. This is gonna be so fun. We prepped some of our stuff yesterday. We've got like um, fun little oil treats for people mm -hmm. to try. Mm -hmm. um, so that's this Saturday from 11 to 5. Mm -hmm. And when are we going to be? When one, are Mama and Mimi? One ish? Oh. oh, we'll look it up. Yeah, I think it's 1 30. But it's going to be really fun. Oh, and we do have a great ebook. Um, this is back to staying healthy. An oh, yeah. Ebook with all great information on On Guard and using that to stay healthy. If you want that, just comment and we can get that to you, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But do come to Girl Boss. Come, It'll be so fun. Come say hi. It'll be like a. A wedding officiant there. Catering. They're catering. Um, um, P um, Katie Pitlick is taking photos. Yeah. It's going to be really fun. And from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., don't mm -hmm. miss it. And come see us live <laughs> making food samples. Doesn't that sound really funny? <laughs> yeah, no. All right. Well, we mm -hmm. hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Comment below if you want any of the, the ebook or your hand set up recipe. Or if you have uh, an oil you want us to talk about next time. And next week, let, oh my gosh, we're going to be flying during Mom and Me. There might be a time week. change next week. It might be 9.30 p.m. Yeah, we're going to have to figure I that out. I think we might have to flop a.m. to p.m. Mm -hmm. Or we might be in the airport at the luggage <gasps> carousel. I guess so. That could work, too. It could work. All right, well, have a great Wednesday, and we'll talk soon. Thanks for joining us. Bye, See everybody. You, bye.